Hi, my name is Erin Rausch. I work here at Grady Veterinary Hospital in Cincinnati, Ohio. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about um, heartworm treatment. Heartworm treatment is very harsh on your animals, so it is much better to put them on prevention for their health and it's also less expensive to use. Um, but first, for a few seconds here, I'd like to tell you a little bit about how your animal gets heartworm. Um, basically, the mosquito can feed on a dog that is already infected with heartworm and then can go from feeding on that dog to another dog and um, once feeding on that other dog can um, pass the heartworm's larvae um, into their bloodstream and that's how it's transferred between animals. Once your dog becomes infected with heartworms, if it's not on a monthly prevention, um, what can happen is um, as time goes, these larvae will be allowed to mature into adult worms, which then they reside in your dog's heart, lungs, and the relating blood vessels there. And um, once that happens, um, it can inflame the heart's walls and whatnot and cause it to be enlarged and can eventually just cause congestive heart failure, which is where the heart stops working. And um, next step is it's fatal. Once the heartworm is diagnosed, it's, it's diagnosed by doing blood work and taking x-rays. And once um, the dog is diagnosed with heartworms, um, depending on the severity of the case, if it's a mild case, um, we treat it with a drug called imidacide. But if it's a pretty severe case, then surgery may be involved because they may have to go manually in to remove the adult heartworm. Even using the drug imidacide, it can cause some complications after giving this drug. The drug imidacide is administered, um, there are two to three injections given um, for mild cases of heartworm treatments. And um, some possible side effects of using this drug is it can cause pain, swelling around the injection site where they give it. Also, some other side effects can be um, depression, lethargy, um, coughing, lung congestion, vomiting even. And in some rare cases, um, using this drug, because it's such a strong to toxic drug, um, it can cause, uh, it can be fatal using this. After the administration of the drug, it is important for the next four to six weeks that the dog is cage rested. During this period, the parasites are being killed off and broken down by the body. Um, during this time, the cage resting is important because um, complications such as pulmonary thromboembolism can happen, which is a clot in the lungs. Um, it results in the obstruction of the blood vessels from the dying off worms. They can cause these clots. After four months has gone by, your dog should be brought back in to be tested for heartworm again. If negative, then that's all clear, but if it becomes positive again, then they may need treatment again, whether it be the imidacide injection or other means of treating this heartworm case. Once your dog has had heartworm, he or she can suffer from complications such as enlarged heart, congestive heart failure, and tissue damage for the rest of their lives. Now that we have learned that the treatment for heartworms can be very intrusive on your animals, um, they can also be very expensive. Just on an average sized dog, it can cost up to $1,300 uh, to treat your animal for heartworm. And this is just an estimate on a mild case of heartworm and with no complications involved with this treatment. Heartworm is a disease that is very easily prevented. Um, all you have to do is give your animal one pill once a month if you would like to learn a little bit more about heartworm, you can visit the American Heartworm Society.